hi greetings i would like to present before you the, an overview of psychological reactions as prepared by Do colonel dr eshwan joshi vice president advocacy and awareness national association of palliative care for ayush and integrative medicine now we start with fear what is fear it is an emotional response characterized by an expectation of harm or unpleasantness usually associated with behavior that attempts to avoid or flee a threatening situation patient is usually aware of the specific danger and has some understanding into the reasons for the fear common indications of fear are tachycardia or rapid heart rate dry mouth constipation hypertension increased uh, perspiration the fight or flight reaction that is alertness and readiness for action in order to avoid or escape harm the second component is anxiety it relates to uncertainty and fear of future or threat of separation from loved ones behaviors are similar to those seen with the fear but are not usually as dramatic because the patient does not know its specific cause he or she usually focuses on the physiologic symptoms of anxiety what are the physiological symptoms of anxiety fatigue insomnia diarrhea or constipation urgency nausea anorexia excessive perspiration anxiety what are the symptoms there are physical symptoms palpitations anxiety what are the symptoms physical palpitations breathlessness dry mouth dysphagia anorexia diarrhea dizziness sweating tremor headache and muscle tension the mental symptoms are bad sleep frightening dreams fear of loneliness the third one is stress it's a state of strain or tension mainly occurs in situations which require an increased and often prolonged effort to adjust any factor that disturbs the physical psychological or physiological homeostasis of the body may be stressful physical signs of stress include ulcers hair loss insomnia over dependency over dependency is a response characterized by feelings of helplessness while trying to search for help and understanding to an extent beyond what is considered normal while healthy people may show some degree of dependence on others during illness this dependence often increases to the point of being harmful to the patient the over dependent patient may be fearful or angry denial common defense mechanism a psychological anesthetic to an otherwise unbearable reality the psychological shock broker that allows us to suppress mentally what we cannot accept emotionally that is denial collusion collusion implies information or diagnosis prognosis and medical details about the patient being withheld by some and not shared with significant stakeholders anger appropriate short term reaction to diagnosis of serious illness anger and grief the pictures show more than words anger if displaced or projected on staff if suppressed if persisted if suppressed patient may become withdrawn uncooperative or depressed if persisted may stop a patient from making positive adjustment to physical disability depression recognizing depression is important because patients have a good response to antidepressant drugs however it is often missed because symptoms overlap with appropriate response to terminal illness paranoid state 
patients are unable to accept that they are dying. They may believe that there is a plot to kill them or they believe that deterioration is caused by treatment, may be caused by biochemical disturbances, cerebral metastasis, psychological factors, family problems. Serious illness changes family psychodynamics. Within families, there is a conflict between the wish to confide or to protect loved one from distress. Family is the best support. So, these two pictures show it. Here the son is in danger. I think it is his brother is consoling him. Here the son is in danger, his mother is supporting, tied over that situation. Some psychological problems can be prevented by good staff patient communication, good staff patient relationships, patients to have some control over management of their illness. Thank you.